Hello everyone and welcome. In this short, we're continuing the quest of building the boat now named The Intense. <laughs> I have a team of friends that uh, our nickname are Glass Rats. We are glass rats. We can build stuff out of fiberglass in a precise way. It's unbelievable some of the stuff that we've built. And in the continuing YouTube productions that I'm going to put together coming up, you're going to see a custom mini truck that was turned into a van. Yeah, and towed a boat that matched it as well. But right now we're in the process of finishing up the inside stringers in our boat. And we now have one of the sides completed with strength, as you can see there. You need to clamp down. This is called a pressure compression. And you want to make sure that when you do fiberglass wood, you want the wood itself to be warm. You want the temperature at least 70 degrees. And you want to clamp your work as tightly as you can. It's really important that you get all of the air out and you get a good seal. One of the tricks that we use, and if you're a guy that likes to fiberglass yourself, <laughs> here's a trick. Add some acetone to your resin. It helps thin it out and it also soaks into the wood better. So you might want to try that trick. We're now working on the floorboards to support the main floor. And look how level that is. There's a lot of work that goes into not only making the plug that we put the boat into to build the boat, but then once you get that far along, now you have to make sure that everything is coming out straight and level because you have the sides that have to match up with the floor. And remember, we're almost seven feet wide and we have 12 feet of flat working area. And the boat is only 15 and a half feet long. <laughs> I need this type of boat to get in the rocks and all the different areas to remove those ghost nets. Now this is one of the best all-around fiberglass man you'll ever run into. A glass rat. And boy, can he throw it down. And the job that they do, just watch here as they roll and compress the glass. That's really important that you do it this way. So many times they see people, they lay the glass on and they kind of brush it and walk away. <laughs> it needs to be under pressure. And this type of equipment and machinery, with the knowledge of the guy that's working it, right now, let's see if my tennis shoes come up, I'm the one spraying the juice. <laughs> you can tell by my tennis shoes. And after a job like this, you might as well say, goodbye clothes. Goodbye. There I am. There's my shoes. And you say goodbye to everything that you're wearing. Now these tubes that are coming up out of the floor have all been positioned in the right area. So when I start running the electrical lines to hook up the column and the electric steering that is going to be developed for the wheelchair people so that this can hook into their chair and they can drive the boat. I want to thank all the people for taking a minute and watching what I'm building here in this boat with George Sorensen. And in the future, stay tuned because we're building this boat for people in wheelchairs <laughs> to help clean up ghost nets. <laughs> 